Philip Gingrich, director and curator of the University of Michigan Museum of Paleontology, has always had an interest in the evolutionary process. His career has focused on searching for the origin of modern mammals, who are warm-blooded vertebrate animals that are typically distinguished by the possession of hair or fur, the secretion of milk by females for the nourishment of the young, and the birth of live young. There is a lot of diversity in this class of animals, from domestic pets to wild animals and marine species. His search for the origin of modern mammals led him to excavate sites in Asia. While in the Anhui province in the People's Republic of China, he discovered the remains of an ancient species known as Sinox. Here you can see the Sinox remains that are showcased in the University of Michigan's Museum of Natural History. The Sinox were a primitive form of hooved mammals known as Masonicids that lived from 63 to 33 million years ago. Masonicids were medium to large sized carnivores that quickly evolved following the extinction of dinosaurs. When the dinosaurs went extinct, many ecological niches that they had previously dominated suddenly became available for other species. This led to the rapid evolution and dominance of mammals. In particular, the Sinox existed during the late Paleocene about 60 to 55 million years ago. They were one of the first Masonicids and they appeared only 5 to 10 million years following the extinction of dinosaurs, which shows just how quickly mammals filled those ecological niches. The remains provide a lot of information about the species. They were approximately 5 feet long and weighed 100 pounds, which is very similar in size to modern day wolves. They had short legs and small hooves on all five toes of each foot. Their body structure and size show that they were built for stamina and strength. It is believed that they hunted and scavenged for dead animals along seashores and floodplains, perhaps similar to this seashore and floodplain. Interestingly, their skull was disproportionately larger than their body and included an extended occipital bone, a large sagittal crest, and an elongated muzzle. The sagittal crest is the ridge of bone that runs along the midline of the skull and serves as the attachment for chewing muscles. Consequently, a large surface area on the sagittal crest shows that large muscle mass was attached to it and indicates that Sinox had strong jaw muscles and a powerful bite, which was necessary seeing as they were likely meat eaters. Despite the large skull, Sinox actually had a tiny brain. Given all that is known about Sinox, many connections have been made between them and modern day ungulates, whales, and carnivores. There are currently about 225 species of modern day even-toed ungulates, including cattle, hippos, giraffes, and deer. As you can see here, they are hooved animals whose two center toes equally support the animal's weight. Even-toed ungulates first appeared during the early Eocene about 54 million years ago and evolved from Masonicids. Seeing as Sinox was a primitive form of Masonicid, there is an ancestral link between Sinox and even-toed ungulates. One difference is that hooved mammals today are not adapted to eat meat like Sinox was. While there is a clear ancestral link between Sinox and even-toed ungulates, a more shocking connection is the one between Sinox and whales. They are believed to be the earliest known ancestor of whales. Whales are one of the few mammals that have evolved to live entirely in water. Three distinct characteristics distinguish them as mammals rather than fish. They breathe air, they are warm-blooded, and they give birth to live young. The question of how these mammals evolved to live in water has intrigued many, and the discovery of multiple fossils helps to better explain their evolutionary change from land animals to water animals. These fossils each have transitional characteristics that provide a clear picture of the process, and until further remains are discovered that provide more information, that transition begins with Sinox. While Sinox was a primitive form of Masonicid, it possessed two characteristics that set it apart from other Masonicids. It had an elongated muscle and its tooth shape. Furthermore, not only did these characteristics differ from other Masonicids, but they were similar to those seen in whales. This provides evidence that Sinox was beginning to develop features that would later be very important, if not necessary, for a mammal living in water. 
Lastly, synox are often associated with carnivores such as prehistoric dogs and cats due to the many physical commonalities they share. Not only were they similar in size, but their body shape and teeth also resembled other carnivores. Furthermore, it's believed that they had similar lifestyle and behaved much like prehistoric carnivores. However, they were not actually closely related to them. Their many similar features were most likely analogous structures that arose through convergent evolution. They had similar ways of life that resulted in the evolution of very similar structures, as is seen in the classic example of the wing. Here is a reconstruction of the Synox, the ancient hooved mammal that existed during the late Paleocene 60 million years ago. While this species had a body shape and size very similar to carnivores, it actually has greater evolutionary linkages to even-toed ungulates and whales.